our students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again with another video, and um, today's going to be a short one. Okay, truth be told, I did another video on um, perspective, but for some reason my camera doesn't want to give it back to me. It's there. It was this. I had to use this examples. So that's probably going to be the next video once I can recover it from my camera because I think it was too long for the camera and it doesn't want to show it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick video on doing the female torso and uh, so that my camera will give it up after I finish. So without making it too long, let's do the torso itself first. Do the male torso. For those people who don't know how to do it, you should. If you have been looking at my channel, you should know how to do the torso. Several steps to doing the torso. First of all, get your nice size oval, not a circle, kind of an oval. One, step two, center line, could be on the side, wherever, but it doesn't make a difference. Step three, do a cross, leaving that at the top. Step four, your chest, which is probably like halfway down. And then five, you wanna do a mountain or a tunnel. I think I said I'm going to do a tunnel. We're going to do a tunnel. That's dark. That's a tunnel. Entrance to a tunnel. Okay? You have those steps. One, two, three, four, five. Step six is when these two lines connect and these two lines and these two lines and these two lines, meaning when this one comes around and hits that circle, you want to go up. Sometimes I, I curve it in a little bit. Sometimes I don't. Like that, and that gives you more your side. That's like where your side, like your chest is gonna curve right here. So coming off here, and that's your torso. That's your whole torso. When you do that from any angle, it'll be right. It'll be right. Center line, that, the chest is like halfway down, and then this here, your tunnel right there, and then where I sit from this to that, and it's gonna be right. <coughs> I don't wanna keep doing stuff to it, because it just eats up the time in the video. And as I said, my camera, for some reason, it doesn't want to show that I video, and it was, like I said, hour long. It really pissed me off, so I said, I'm gonna do a short video, shorter video. Now, at this point, you had your torso right. No matter how you turn it, you use these guidelines, it's gonna be right. Make a V right here to the top of that, and then go up. And there is your neck for your head. Take this off over here, over there. I already showed you. Circle, oval, and um, cone or triangle. And that makes your arm, short arm. Same thing, circle. And that's got to be right up to this point right here. Circle, oval, and cone. Makes your arms. So, one thing I keep forgetting, this is your chest. It's going to curve right here, and it's going to go up into your delt, which is this circle is your delt, so like that. Like that, okay? So, and this part is going to be at the top, the collarbone, right there. All right, so that's your basic for your torso. Now, doing the female torso is the same thing. And I know I'm rushing, and I told you already. Same thing, except I'm going to make it more slender of an oval instead of making it big now if i was doing this realistically i could do something like this that way i have more upper and a smaller waist to contend with but this is how i do it so if i'm doing a female i'm going to do like that that shape let me let me do a bigger like that not too long not too long Okay, so then center line again. Center line, this is the same thing for the, 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 the male, except the female does come in. It comes in a little bit, whereas the male goes straight across if you're looking with the camera, if you're looking directly at the person. But the females always come in like that. So halfway, and I'll go like a little past halfway for the female because the breasts hang down more than a male's breast, and then your tunnel. But your tunnel is not going to be wide like this. It's going to be more narrow like that. Okay? Same thing. Turn right here. Turn right there. And then you have this leftover V. And it's not going to be a wide V like that one. It's going to be a narrower, narrow, like that. 
This is going to come off. This is going to be your delts again for the female. And delts a little longer than that, Brian. Now, the thing is for the, the, the chest or breast, when red, I will usually right in the center of the neck, do my upside down heart. Put that heart right there. You can, depending on the size of the breast, you know, as do you do you bring it out more, or if it's just small, this like smaller smaller breast, maybe make it a little higher, not so rounded. That's all right. It's going to be round, not so low. You just said higher. So for me, let's just let's just go with this right here. This there. That there. Let's put it in blue because we've got so many red lines going. And of course, as it comes up, it's going to go right into the delts as well. Now, so we can erase that, of course. Now, with this, you're going to have a little lat, and I'll slim this in, depending on, depends on how much I want. Get me pencil, pencil. Depending on how wide the female is, and like I said, don't make it too low. Don't make because this should be right up at the breast. It should be right up on that line. And don't have it too long. So what I'm gonna do? Okay, I got this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna slim this in just a little more. Here's my breast, and I'm gonna make this like one, one little piece, like it has a shirt or something on, so that YouTube won't freak out. But you already know, you the breasts separate, and we'll get into that a little bit more, the breast a little bit more. So we have this, this, and then the tunnel, which is more narrower, okay? Just bring that down there. And already you have a slim uh, female. Now let's let's continue with this before I change anything else. So with the man's head, I usually do this, a flatten, bottom of the chin, up like this, and then straight up like that. And my neck will come straight down along the side of that head. It gives you a bigger, um, massive neck which makes them look good and this leftover is not the shoulder i always make my shoulder a little higher on the neck to give them a more powerful look now as far as the female let's do her head instead of this i do a point for the chin i mean yeah it's not really sharp but i i, I just do that and then i instead of coming straight up i go out more like this out and then round yes it's kind of high up on her neck but this is just, I'm just trying to show you. So again, larger, like this. This is the chin. I don't go straight up, I go out like that. This is the basic shape of the head that I use. And then I correct it a little later. I'll round off the chin a little bit more. Maybe if I need to bring it in some, I'll bring it in some. And then the neck. The neck is never gonna be on the side like this. The neck is always gonna come under. Okay, so we have this, neck is long, but that's okay. We have this, and instead of doing this, we're going to come like that. It's going to be like a slope, like that, and then into her arms. The arms are not going to go up, they're going to go down, and everything's going to continue to go down. So if I did this in pencil, which is not sharp, okay, so neck is going to go down like that down like that okay remember I got rid of some of this like that and then here you go. there's your arm is going to be tucked up under there the delt now again what I did here circle cylinder now, if you notice how fat that cylinder is compared to that circle that's how you want the male if you want the female you're gonna have that, that, that oval circle you're gonna have the bicep tricep more narrow so you're going to do a narrow oval bring that down a little bit more and then you're going to go back out with your 
cone. So basically you're gonna come out up, it's gonna come like this, out, in, and back out. So that's gonna be in and out like that. That'd be a little fat, but that's okay. So the breast is gonna be like that. That one's gonna be like that. And then you're gonna have that neck which slopes down and out and in and then out again like that so you can have a little bit of lat right here a little bit of lat right there that arm is covering up and it depends on the size of the breast whether or not that your lat is going to come out like this or your lat is going to be behind her breast like if i bring this one here and then the rest of it like right there that makes it a little more slimmer if i put that lat out a little bit more it gives a little more thickness so let's just say here and then of course you have this and for the female i don't make it i don't do one whole thing like this for the male i would do something like this the whole piece come in and then do his abs like that i would not do that for the female i'll just give like a line indicating she has no belly fat on her and then from here you can still do the tuna can, which would be really small, and then you do the house, which is going to the upside down house, which is going to be wider. But usually I'll skip all of that and I'll just put it her um, the upside down house right up here, and just bring that out. So that's part of her hips and her waist at the same time, and then of course her legs. But we're not we're not we're not focused on that we're focusing on the top so this is going to come in it's going to be a dip and it's going to come in like i said the man's i'll usually do the man straight but hers kind of come but the female kind of comes down and a little bit of that and i would bring that even that, that neck is too too wide so on this circle right here that's where i usually put my chin right on that circle or just above that circle so whatever's left here i will bring her chin up a little higher because women tend to have a little longer necks than men, but not way, way up high. And usually the head is gonna be wider than the male's head compared to his shoulders. So if I was doing this guy here, head's a little short, but that's okay. Here's his neck. So big shoulders and delts. So He's got a small head compared to that. She has a, she would have a bigger head compared to her shoulders. So as I say, uh, let me hook, touch on the breast a little bit more. Usually if a man's delts, they'll come in like this. You have the come in and then the chest comes out. Whereas a woman, you don't really put that much. Some people just kind of like put a line to indicate the breasts are still going up depends on the clothes she wears, depends on how muscular she is. Now, from the side, if I do the torso from the side, I don't go straight up and down like that, I lean it just a little bit. So I'm gonna lean this up. That's gonna be the center line right here of this. I would have my center line like going this way. It's gonna be leaning so sideways you got this and you have your, your stomach you have this part right here which goes in like that so if her breasts are right here coming here come like that then you have this and you have that and even that's kind of wide because i'm so used to drawing men like that so your your breasts and as as i always use the example if you take a water balloon more like a drumstick where you, you tie the balloon up right here like that water balloon and you put it on a table is the table you put that balloon on the table it's going to be like this it's going to flatten out and then here's the tie that part like that because your water is right here just imagine these are balloons i know that's bad but i'm trying to make it easy for you guys so if you tilted that table like that and you set that balloon on that table, that balloon is gonna be like this. It's 
like that because the water is being pushed on the side of that balloon. So this again is the torso. It's a rough torso. The skeleton of the torso is kind of shaped like this and you have that. So you're putting that balloon right there on the side of that table like that. So that's how it's going to look just like this. Like that. And then you have your neck and you go up and then your head for the female like that. Of course it's going to be down a little bit longer, you know. Torso is a little longer. And then you have that you have that stomach muscles right there. delts like that so this is basically you have your rib cage your rib cage your rib cage is shaped like this what is it you have the little comes like this and your ribs here and the collarbone here basically it's shaped like this just bear with me on that one so turning it from the side same thing so basically you're laying that, that water balloon on top of this and you're laying it on top of that. It's not going to be round. I've seen some people just do like round unless you get, you know, just your character has uh, implants. It's not round like that. It's going to be just like that. They're soft. So when you press, a, press it against something, it's going to flatten out depending on if that surface is flat. flat. But here it is flat. So it would look sideways. It would look just like I showed you here. So your ribs are gonna be like this, and there's that opening here, your collarbone here. Just imagine that, okay? And then of course, you put in that, the breast of that balloon against that surface right there, so it's gonna be flat like that. So even if you did it from a three-quarter view angle, if I took, and we're getting into breasts now, if I took two circles and I put them side by side, let me see if I have my two little Chinese balls. Okay, two circles side by side, okay? Now, when I rotate them, you notice this one goes in front of that one until this other one can kind of like disappear. Same thing when you do with your brass if you're doing a three quarters view. So, here's my, here is my, uh, torso three quarter view um, collarbone bottom of the chest the tunnel from here this point where these two lines connect those two lines connect right there okay so you already have this kind of a flat surface here so remember you want to do your your heart, and just the same way that one comes in front of the other. That's gonna be the same way with the breast. So you're gonna have this one, flat on that water balloon, remember the water balloon? It's gonna push against that and flat right here because some separate, sometimes they separate depending on the, the breast. It's like abs, Every, everybody's ab is not Totally the same. Some people's abs are high and low. Some people's abs are just just weird. You look at a lot of bodybuilders, you'll see nobody's abs are perfect. So some are pushed together, some are separated. So you take that, and then you have this one here, which is going to come in front of the other, depending on the amount of turn. So we have this, you have your delts here. So this is going to come up and into the delt and go down. Delt right here, you won't see that the way it connects. This will, this will come right up into the delt. If this is the delt, this is gonna come up in and kind of stop right there. So we have this, should have stayed with the blue. Have this, and then let's put an arm here. Remember, this is gonna be wider. This is more square, to be honest. It's more square for female, and then you have smaller bicep tricep and you have that comes out like that so now it, now what am i saying the lats you can you start bringing the lats in it's still going to be curved like this but it's not going to be way out there with the blue and then you come in and then you go down 
you might have a little bit of hip right there. So as I say, once I get to this point, when you're doing um, front, right here where the bone comes, this is bone, remember, your love handle is like right here and goes down. Your obliques. And then this goes down and then right after that, your hips are attached to the obliques. So if you have like big love handles, it's going to go out like that and down is your obliques. And it's just kind of like plastered right against the side of your ribs. Okay. And your obliques go down and that makes the narrow, it makes it narrow. This is wide and it gets narrow as it goes down. So for the female... I wouldn't do the obliques, I'll bring it down and then I'll start the hips right there. So this might come up. So here's her stomach muscle, goes down into the crotch, like this, comes up and your legs come off your hips and they go down like this and then they curve out. Same thing. So this is why I would, I would bring this out just a little bit and it depends on the shape of the character. Right, so this goes here and then it goes back in a little bit. But I'm not I would not just over ab the woman. Okay, now I could probably make this a little thinner depending on the female. If I'm doing she hulk or if I'm gonna do you know some small gymnast or whatever. And then again we have a little bit of this. So let's let's make that red so you can see what I'm doing. We have just a little bit of shoulder from that oval. So here's my center line. So I'm going to just take this V just to the top of that shoulder, which is right here. Hopefully you can see those three colors. Then I'm gonna go up with my neck. Now maybe I might have to bring it out a little bit more, bring it with my neck, and then I will put my head. Now again, neck and the shoulders are gonna, gonna go in, slope in, and then you have this little bit of square. Now once you get it, then you can define it and say, okay, that's too wide, that's too small, that's too whatever, and then work on it. So if my neck is gonna come down, slope, just like a ski slope or a jump that somebody's gonna jump off of, square this off, come in, and then back out. In, and then back out, of course, the breasts are gonna go. You can have a little bit there, but then the delt is gonna be there. Bring that in, out. You can have a little bit of, of oblique or love handles. You don't have to. I, I kinda of tend not to give my women love handles. I, I tend not to. And of course, I say the neck is gonna come in to that point collarbone, collarbone, a little bit of sloping, and then there is your other delt. So, it will be the same way if you turn it the opposite way. So as long as you have this, you, the beetle as I call it, then you will be right every time, no matter how you change it or twist it or turn it. So this is 23 minutes, 40 seconds now. So I don't wanna go past that because I want my phone to actually give up my video. One, two, three, four, halfway down, five is the tunnel. If it's a man, you're gonna have a wide tunnel. If it's a female, you're gonna have a narrow tunnel. One, two, three, four, five. What's that? It's one, two, three, four, five. I have to remember that. Five, six, seven. As long as you remember those, then you're good, okay? Then you're gonna do that V for the neck. You're gonna do your delts here, and your delt comes, where's the man at? The delt almost comes to the bottom of the chest. I used to do small delts, but they actually are long. They almost come to the bottom of the chest. The, your um, bicep is gonna come somewhere around the belly button if it's down. And then your forearm is gonna come to the crotch. Your wrist is gonna stop at your crotch. So those are just measuring points for uh, the man. The woman's is the same, it's just because their arm is so narrower or, or thinner, it looks longer.
but it's the same. I could have made that a lot narrow, narrow words. No, that's one of my hard words. So, yeah, just remember that narrow. This goes, this automatically goes down, whereas the man goes straight. Slope, ski jump. Oh, yeah, you ski jumping. That's going to be square. That little piece right here is going to be more square, narrow, and then that. So, hopefully that covered what I was trying to show you because I don't want to go too long. As I say, my camera, if I go up like an hour, then it's going to, it's not going to, it's going to say there's no, no, no video found. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I had to run some kind of crazy program to get my videos to show, but it's been a while and I forgot how to do it. So I'll have to do some more research before I can get that particular video up. So that's going to be it for this one. I'll get some kind of thumbnail. I guess I'll draw a female torso and that'd be my thumbnail for this. All right. So yeah, hopefully you did learn something. If you, if it was too much, go back. I know it's going fast. Go back and look at it again. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I will write you back. And if you have something that you really want to see me do, and it's going to help others, not just you, then I'll make a video out of it. Like if you, somebody was kept asking me, how do you draw Bruce Lee? How do you draw Bruce Lee? That would never help anybody, but that person, maybe one or two other people, but I don't want to do a video that's helping one person. I want to do a video that helps lots of people. All right, so that's going to be it. Um, yeah, I'll close out with my saying. If you don't have fun doing it, then it's not fun to do. So keep drawing.